Hey guys, welcome to the show. So in this video, we're going to continue our quest for the best built plate bond for ABS to glass. Here are my samples from previous videos, which explain all of our testing procedure. That'll be up in the top corner there. If you're interested in this stuff, make sure you check out that video first. So, but for this video, I had to buy something. I actually saw an advertisement on YouTube uh, for this and it is terribly expensive, hence the reason you see these little tiny containers. These are the sample packs that they sell. Uh, I think they were, well Canadian they were around $9 plus shipping. So for, for what you get, that's pretty expensive. Anyways, they claim that um, it works exceptionally well for many different materials, including some of the really high temperature materials uh, like Peak, um, for example. So. But they also claim that it works well for ABS and uh, like I said, a lot of other materials. So let's go ahead and give this a try and we'll compare it against a lot of our other samples that we already have made to see how well it did. Uh, clean build plate, use water, Windex or alcohol. Well, I've got alcohol. I've already cleaned this with soap and water anyway. The next step to apply the adhesive. According to their website, and their video, this is how you're supposed to apply it. I think I'm gonna need more than one coat. Now another neat feature about this, apparently with the lower temperature materials, you can reuse this coating again and again. Um, I think they said up to 50 times. Um, nozzle temperature below 300 Celsius, remove the part when it is cool. Uh, nozzle temperature above 300 Celsius, remove the part when it's hot. It can break the build plate if you, uh, basically if the part shrinks too much, it has adhered too well to the build plate. Okay, and here's uh, what it looks like when it's dry. For our testing, one sample isn't really enough. I'd like to throw a few uh, at this coating to see how it performs under a couple different conditions. I'll also throw a few real parts at the coating as well to see how it compares to what I'm used to. Okay, so for our first sample, we're just printing the way I would normally print. So I do print with a brim. I don't have great success with bed adhesion and the bigger the part, the, kind of the, the worse off you are. Just like the instructions said, I was able to let this part completely cool on the build plate and just come back and it should um, be pretty easy to take off. Now it is still adhering pretty well uh, to the build plate. That's not a result that I'm used to getting it is uh, maybe a good indication that this is working pretty well. Now after removing the print from the build plate, there is a bit of a residue or at least an imprint from the previous print. This company says that this finish is reusable or this coating is reusable and that's what really was intriguing to me. So I don't really want to do too much at this point with the coating and, and uh, adjusting it, but what I think is probably wise is just to clean it with water and uh, then we'll get the exact same print started again. I've read some reviews on Amazon for this product and uh, the reviews are pretty good. Now one thing people say is that you can use alcohol to thin it out. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just uh, attempt to almost reactivate the adhesive with alcohol, uh, redistribute it a little bit, and then we'll try the exact same 3D print again. My uh, first three tests turned out really well. So what I'm going to do is throw a different test at this and uh, I'm going to print with no brim and that's not something I would normally do because it just isn't successful but um, I have a feeling that this might work out okay. What I'm going to do first, uh, clean the build plate again just briefly with a little bit of alcohol. I only printed with no brim a few times when I first started 3D printing and those prints were never successful so I stopped and started printing with a brim instead. The test itself is just an average measurement of the thickness of the two ends compared to the thickness in the middle because the two ends tend to raise up as the printing process is happening and they will uh, end up measuring a little bit smaller. Alright, so here are the results. Uh, now these are in millimeters. 
the glue stick average 0.135 millimeters, ABS juice 0.18 millimeters. Uh, that's both from previous testing and the nano adhesive. You can see all of the testing that we've just completed uh, 0 0.035, 0 0.06 millimeters, 0 0.015, 0 0.035. Uh, there are some variables involved, of course, but you can get the average of these tests and put them together. Let's prep the build plate again for our real print now to see how it does. This is the silver filament, uh, which is ABS, and it's printed with five wall lines, 35% cubic cube fill, and it normally warps really badly at the narrowest tips. And it looks uh, like it worked a little bit too well. I'm a little confused why it took a chunk out of the middle where the part should have remained pretty stationary. So time for a new build plate. Now these are a small portion of the prints that I've made over the course of about a month. Um, I've made over 50 prints total with uh, these two small containers of adhesive and there has been no more damage to the build plate. So uh, now moving on to the results of my actual uh, part testing over the course of a month. Um, so if you print ABS, this works really, really well. If you try and print PLA, um, I personally didn't have very good success printing PLA on this adhesive. Um, and but I did have good success when adding glue stick on top of the adhesive when printing PLA. The same goes for PETG. I did have some trouble a few times removing the prints from the build plate and a few times removing the brim, uh, although I'm not sure the brim is necessary in this case. So does it work? Well, it does work for ABS and they do recommend on the website switching to carbon fiber for the build plate to prevent damage to the glass. So if you struggled with ABS adhesion like I have, this product might be able to help you. The, the price is a little bit high, but um, it may be possible to dilute it with alcohol so that it goes a little bit further. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some information from this. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care everybody, we'll see you on the next one.